guys, I'm Olivia. I'm going to show you how to make carbonara with bacon and peas. Now this is an authentic carbonara recipe. It's not the cream sauces that you might be used to somewhere else. This is the real thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our glass bowl and I have some whole wheat pasta already cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And don't worry about getting some of your pasta water in your dish. You want that. That's going to help make the sauce. So we've got our nice hot steaming pasta. And to this we're going to add bacon and peas. Now I've already chopped up some regular bacon. The original recipe uses pancetta. You can use that too. Any different kind of bacon that you prefer. But I just use regular bacon, that's fine. Use fresh peas, frozen peas, either way is fine, whatever you prefer. So this is for about two people. So you're going to do about a quarter of a box of the pasta uh, uncooked, which is about a quarter of a pound. To this, it's about a quarter cup of peas and two or three strips of bacon already cooked. So with my peas and my bacon, I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil just to make the pasta easy to manage and maneuver. We've got our salt and pepper blend. We're going to put a little sprinkle, not too much. And then I have my Parmesan cheese. I'm going to sprinkle that in there as well. It's about a quarter of a cup. You can use less if you prefer or more if you like it really cheesy. We're going to stir this up. And while our pasta and ingredients are still hot, I'm going to add raw eggs. Don't freak out. Raw eggs are totally fine, especially if they're fresh. You will have no problem at all. This is really going to make the sauce and our hot pasta is going to cook the eggs. So every person that you're serving gets an egg. So if you end up doing about a pound of pasta, doubling this recipe, you'll do four eggs. I'm only doing two here. So I'm going to stir this up. Now, carbonara has a lot of different stories as to where it came from. Um, but one of them includes the coal miners um, in Italy would whip this up. They would put their bacon over the fire, um, really burn it, crisp it up, and hence carbonara, carbon, overcooked, really crispy bacon. Um, other stories are World War II, the Americans brought over their rations of um, eggs and bacon, and they all sort of whipped it up together. I mean, there are lots of different stories. This is the dish that my dad used to make for me at home. So this is something super comfort food, delicious. Our whole wheat pasta, it's good for you. Um, it really makes a really nice creamy sauce. And again, those raw eggs are not going to hurt you, so don't worry. Make sure your eggs are fresh and that you are really safe with um, how you store them and how you, how you use your ingredients. We're going to plate our pasta here. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. And just so that you can see that the egg is not going to hurt you, I'm just going to have a little bit of a little bite. So good. Mmm. Mmm. It's super creamy with the egg. It doesn't taste overly eggy. Seasoning's really good. You got a nice bite from the peas, really nice and fresh. The bacon really makes the seasonings come out. You can even change this up and add basil or different kind of herb if you want to have a little bit more flavor to it, but this is perfect right here. You don't need to add anything else. It's so good. I'm going to have another bite. Enjoy it.